So this is Windows Phone Mango on the radar. So you've got your lock screen button top right, as well as the power. Just roll it up. As you can see, it glides just like the original. Um, Microsoft's hardware stipulations mean that performance is always pretty good on all of its handsets. So in Mango, you've got a new People Hub. They've integrated Twitter at a, a deeper level. So you get all your Twitter updates, you get Hotmail updates, Facebook updates, pretty much all the social networks, even LinkedIn. Um, so that all appears here, and you can filter out the various ones. So if you don't want to see your LinkedIn updates, you just untick the box. Uh, also new, you've got the Instant Explorer 9, which supports HTML5. So it loads a lot quicker than the older, I think it was an IE8 browser on playing an old Windows phone. You can snap to columns, which is handy. So if you want to read a particular bit here, go back again and you're back out. You can also pinch to zoom stuff. And you've got the orientation. They moved the address bar to the bottom and they've tried to simplify it just to make it a bit easier on the eye. So you just go to here to do tabs and stuff. So it's quite smooth. Uh, if you press search, and you go into Bing. Uh, this has been enhanced, so now you have Local Scout, which will show you um, points of interest in the area, restaurants. So the nearest first, so we've got Fino as the nearest one. If you press that, you can then see reviews of it. You can see the opening hours. You can even press from my location, so it'll give you directions there. Uh, all the times, numbers, anything you need to know about it. And if people have liked it or not, and there are reviews, then you can read about them. And it also suggests applications now that Mango thinks are relevant. So food spotting is probably probably quite a good one to have if you want to go out to a restaurant. Uh, next up, you've got a Shazam equivalent, because you haven't got any music I won't show you, but if you press that and a track's playing, if it recognises it, it will take you to the, uh, the Zoom store to buy the track, so that's quite good. Um, we tested it and it worked well. You've also got, if you press the I, a barcode scanner. Um, this will also translate text, although we, for some reason we had problems to begin with this, but we have seen it in action. You would take a picture of, of words, and providing it's not too messy handwriting or a strange font, you can then press translate and it will adjust it for you into uh, quite a few languages. And on the right, you've got the voice open calendar so there you go, it's searching for uh, open calendar on the subject of voice, if you hold down the back button that brings up Mango's multitasking so Android people can't complain anymore so as long as you press home button you can go back to that task and if apps or games support quick app switching then you can go back to it instantly without having to reload uh, they've improved voice as well, so if you hold down the middle button, open calendar, Starting calendar. so there you go, so it's kind of a Siri equivalent there, not as many functions, but it does the job as long as you don't have too strong a regional accent.